Hello and welcome to my channel, Justine Do Crochet. My name is Priscilla and I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. Alright everyone, so today is Monday, so it's time to work your whips Monday. And last week I had you all choose between my hashtag make scrap yarn and my stitcher library project. And you all chose for me to go ahead and work on my hashtag make scrap yarn again. So that is what I'm going to be working on today. Now, um... I also did get a question in there to show uh, how I'm making this. So pretty much um, all I'm doing is just, uh, let's see. So I have like a really big hook and that's going to give um, the nice drape that it has on there. And this is just like a, a worsted weight yarn. And all I'm doing is, um, it's just like a, it's a tube. So all I'm doing is going around and around in a circle. There you go. Um, with some single crochets. So I know it's probably going to be hard for me to show you guys, but let me see. So I'm just going, <clears throat> just going into the stitch and doing a single crochet. And I'm just doing that all the way around. Let me see if I can turn. Can you guys see that? So that's all I'm doing. I know it's kind of a weird angle, but yeah, that's all I'm doing is just doing a single crochet all the way around. And it's just like a spiral, so I'm not joining or anything. It's continuous rounds. And then when I so when I run out of a yarn, <laughs> I'm a person that doesn't really like to weave in their ends. So I'll join in the new yarn and I'll tie a knot and then I'll just tuck the uh I'll just tuck the tails down inside the tube. <laughs> and that way you won't be I don't have to weave them in and you won't uh see the tails. So uh that is uh really why I like this um or one of the main reasons why I like that idea of crocheting in a tube so I could just stuff the tails in there because knowing me with all the tails that would be on here that that would not work and that might be even why I don't I shy away from scrap projects because I don't like to weave in my ends <laughs> and I know some some of you guys um like crochet over them but I haven't found a method that works good for me because uh, I did try that in one of my corner to corner projects in the first wash like all of the tails just came poking out so I, I like to weave in my ends um so that I don't have that issue, but I don't actually like physically like to weave them in, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I, I figured if I just took them down inside the tube and then I'm going to be, you know, knit or uh, arm knitting with this, it should be okay. Hopefully. <laughs> so uh, that's all I'm doing is just doing a single crochet around in a, in a t um, continuous rounds in a tube. And then this tube will become... The thicker yarn that I'm going to use to arm knit with. So, if you all had any questions about that, I hope that answered your questions. If not, you can definitely um, leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. <laughs> but, uh, yep, that's all I'm doing with this here. So, I'm going to continue on working on that project today. And then at the end of the video, I'll come back with some more options for you guys and show you um, the progress that I got done in this session for today. Alright, so go ahead and grab your project if you haven't already so you can get some progress done with me. And let's work our whips Monday. <laughs> Alright guys, here we go.
Alright everyone and I made it back so I am uh, done with my regular session time so this is what I got done. I was just into the green uh, when I started so I got all of that and then this um, lighter color green and then now I'm into this um, this is this looks like a a Karen, um, a Karen cake um, so it's transitioning in the colors within the uh, the cake. So uh, this is what 
this is what I have. Oops, I can't see that. No. This is what I have left, and it looks like it's going to be a, like a gray color. Um, yeah, like a gray color after that. So there could even be another color after that. I'm not sure, but that is fun seeing the color changes a little bit quicker. Um, with the cake yarn so that is what I got done so far today lots of colors in this <laughs> in this bit of yarn here so that is pretty exciting um yes so options for next week um I'm gonna go ahead and take the scrap yarn off because I did that twice in a row so I like to give you guys um uh other options to choose from so I am going to um put on uh, option one get it done and that is because I did do a little bit of work on my sweater <laughs> and um, if I have like a wrap it up se uh, session next week I might be able to finish it not sure there are a lot of ends to weave in so that could take a long time but I will put that on the list for option one um, if I get more work done on it through the week then I can always bring in another project to work on as well so option one will be get them done and option two will be um, my Stitcher library project again um, I, w I did have my giveaway video last week so I didn't put out um, the Stitcher library video just because I wanted to let that giveaway run for a few extra days so I know I keep talking about it I'm just going to put it out when I put it out I just feel it like that <laughs> <laughs> but uh we'll see um so if you would like to for me to do um yes let's just go over the options again option one would be get them done i'm just gonna wrap up some projects that i've been working on for a while and option two will be um hashtag your library so those are my two options for this week um please remember to let me know what you were working on and what you got done and the progress that you got done and um, the option that you would like me to work on for next week. All right. And also, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.